In our other top story tonight, there are now two tropical storms churning in the central Pacific and one of the systems formed late this morning. Our first alert weather team is tracking the conditions and meteorologist Drew Davis joins us now to tell us what to expect. Drew. Hello, Austin. We've actually had one of those tropical storms be upgraded to a hurricane. Hurricane Iona, the bigger system right there, is actually going to continue churning further to the west and south of the island chain. So we've been tracking the tropics since the beginning of last week. We were giving you the first alert that we're entering a little bit of an active weather pattern when it comes to hurricane season. Hurricane Iona right there, tropical storm Kelly, they both formed in the central Pacific and have been given Hawaiian names. Luckily, both of these systems are going to stay well away from the island chain. So we've been tracking the, uh, the tropics very closely. Again, this is Iona and Kelly, and there's even the potential for another system to spin up just behind Kelly to its east, so we could even be seeing Lala as we're going forward. Here's the latest tracks from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. Hurricane Iona right now is a Category 1 Tropical Storm. Kelly expected to stay at Tropical Storm status. By tomorrow morning, this is around Tuesday at 8 a.m., Iona could potentially get to a Category 2 storm and potentially a Category 3 before starting to weaken as it moves further westward. And like I mentioned, it's an active weather pattern for the tropics. There's an area just in the western portions of the East Pacific that has a 60% chance of development over the next 48 hours by the time we get to Wednesday. And then another system in the far East Pacific with a high chance for development. I'll give you a further breakdown of our local forecast coming right up. All right. Thank you very much, Drew.